Welcome to Act Notes Tutorials. My name is Dan the Professor, and I am going to give you a quick tutorial on requirement types. There are four main requirement types that engineers, program managers and stakeholders will have to develop on and program throughout a system's life cycle. These requirements range from very high-level concept focused, to very specific for a part. The main types of requirements are Functional requirements Performance requirements System technical requirements and finally, specifications. I will go over each requirement type in more detail. The first requirement type is functional requirements. A functional requirement is simply a task, sometimes called action or activity, that must be accomplished to provide an operational capability, or satisfy an operational requirement. Experience in systems engineering has identified, 8, primary system functions that most systems must complete over their life cycle. These primary functions are, development, manufacturing, verification, deployment, training, operations, support, and disposal. Each primary system function must usually be considered in the process of identifying all the functional requirements for a system. An example of a functional requirement is the jet shall have the capability to fly faster than the speed of sound. The next requirement type is, performance requirements. A performance requirement is a statement of the extent to which a function must be executed, generally measured in terms such as quantity, accuracy, coverage, timeliness, or readiness. The performance requirements for the operational function correlate well with the statement of needed for the operational capability of a system. Other performance requirements usually requires thorough systems engineering to be defined. An example of a performance requirement is the jet shall be able to fly at 1000 miles per hour for 30 minutes. The next requirement type is, System Technical Requirements. These requirements result in both allocated and derived requirements. Allocated requirements flow directly from the system requirements down to the elements of the system. And derived requirements are dependent on the design solution, and so are sometimes called design requirements. They include internal interface constraints between the elements of the system. An example of an allocated requirement is the jet electronic system shall function on 12 volt DC current. The final requirement type is specifications. A specification is a detailed, exact statement of particulars, especially a statement prescribing materials, dimensions, and quality of work for something to be built, installed, or manufactured. The overall purpose of a specification is to provide a basis for obtaining a product or service that will satisfy a particular need at an economical cost and to invite the maximum reasonable competition. By definition, a specification sets limits and eliminates, or potentially eliminates, items that are outside the boundaries drawn. A good specification should do four things. Identify minimum requirements. List reproducible test methods to be used in testing for compliance with specifications. Allow for a competitive bid. And finally, provide for an equitable award at the lowest possible cost. Thank you for watching this tutorial on requirement types. For more information please visit the webpage. Congratulations for finishing this tutorial and thanks for visiting ACT Notes.